Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In this video I will explain to you how to create a waterfall chart in Tableau. A waterfall chart in Tableau is used to visualize the running total of a given measure like profit or sales for a sequence of values like total sales for every month, total sales for each category, the impact of a given category on profit etc. And in this video we are going to see three different examples. We are going to see sales by category, profit by month for each subcategory for every year and profit by subcategory so let's get started as you can see in this video we are going to use the orders table from sample superstore data set where the link is available in the description so first we are going to create two calculated fields first one we call it negative sales it is simply minus sales okay apply okay the second one we call it negative profit and same thing minus profit apply okay so let's say for example we want to display the total sales okay so we double click on sales and we have our value if we want to display the total sales for every category we drag and drop category into the columns. We can press Ctrl key and drag and drop some of cells into the labels. We can format our axis. So format, I'm going to select currency, custom, zero decimal places. Same thing for axis, right? So it, it's going to be currency without decimal places. And now if we want to display the total sales for every category as waterfall chart, we are going to do the following. So first we click on sum of sales and we add table calculation we select running total then we change the type of our chart into count bar we drag and drop negative sales into the size and we drag and drop sales into colors we click on analytics we click on total and we drag and drop into row grand totals. We select entire view and we can increase the size of our chart. So like that, we get our first waterfall chart, which represents the running total of the sales depending on each category. For example, for furniture, we have the given value. Office supplies, we have another value. And for technology, we have its value. And at the end, we have our bar, which represents the total sales. So this is our first example of waterfall chart. Next, we are going to create another waterfall chart for profit by month for each subcategory in every year. So click on create new worksheet. We drag and drop order date into the columns. We select month. Same thing, we drag and drop order date into filters and we select years. Next, we select 2014 for example, apply OK show filter and we select single value list we have set for each subcategory so we drag and drop subcategory into the filters we select for example the first one apply ok and show filter single value as list now we have set profit so we drag and drop profit into the rows we click on the row and quick table calculation running total We select the Gantt bar. We drag and drop negative profit into the size and profit into the color. Same thing, profit into the label. As you can see here, we can visualize the profit in every month for each subcategory. For example, in 2014, for the chairs, we have the following values. We can also format our axis. So format so select access the number it will be currency custom and we select zero decimal places and same thing for the label format and we select the currency standard right same thing for the default currency standard okay so here we have the different values and we can change it for example into tables we have the following values. We can change the year, 
2016, 2015. As you can see here, we have only negative values for the tables. Same thing for storage, we have some positive and some negative values, cases for art, etc. So this waterfall chart help us to visualize the different values for every month and for each subcategory if you want to see the different positive and negative values. Same thing, we can create another example for profit by subcategories. So click on create new worksheet. We have subcategories into the columns. We have profit into the rows. Same thing, we are going to add table calculation or quick table calculation run in total. We select Gantt bar. We drag and drop negative profit into the size. We have profit into colors. And same thing, profit into the label. We can select the entire view and we can format our axis. So format the axis, it will be currency custom zero decimal places. Same thing for profit format. It will be currency standard, right? And we can change the color. So color, edit color. We can select, for example, red, green, divergent. Apply. OK. And we can increase the size. OK, so like that, we get our waterfall chart, which represents the different profit values for each subcategory. We can also add the total. So click on analytics totals and we drag and drop into raw grand totals okay we can format and increase so format 8 for example okay so like that we get our waterfall chart at the end we have a bar which represents the total profit and here we have the different parts for each subcategory with the different values for example if it is green so the value is positive if it is red, it is negative. So as you can see here, for bookcases, it is negative. For supplies, same thing. And also for the tables. Whereas for the maximum value is for copiers with more than $50,000. Then we have the phones. And in the third position, we have accessories. So this is all about the waterfall charts. I hope that you have learned new things. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.